This is Assistant Professor Dharam Munarkat with the subject Effective Technical Communication. So as we know we are moving with the module number 3 that is Technical Communication. The first topic we have started with the is the public speaking as we have defined what is public speaking. Public speaking is to give the speech around a live audience and to the numbers of audience when the audience is of large number that is known as the public speaking. Now the same subtopic of the public speaking we will cover today that is the content. From the name itself you get to know that what is the content that is now you have to present the public speaking. Now the first thing you have to do is what to speak the script you we heard the name the script that we have to first prepare and then we will go in front of the public. So the subtopic of the public speaking we are going to cover is the content what to speak. If you have been asked to deliver a speech now if you are asked to deliver a speech on a given subject if you have given some subject the first thing that you have to decide what to speak that means the content that first you have to decide. The content mainly depends upon the purpose of the speech and the audience what you have to deliver what is the purpose of your speech why you are presenting yourself that means the purpose and second thing for the to decide the content is your audience this also we have discussed in the etiquette pass that the audience is mean because you have to deliver that person that people have to understand what you are going to say so first two things you have to decide for for preparing the content is the purpose of your speech and the audience so before preparing the speech it is important to clarify yourself with your purpose and understand your audience so that you can illustrate that more relevant to your purpose and the audience whether one gives a well prepared speech or an extempter the important thing is the flow of the speech what is important the flow of the speech how you are going that means the people are easy easily accept your speech that you have to see any communication must have connectivity and continuity this two word you have to keep in mind while giving this speech that means your speech must connect every point and there is a continuity in the flow of your ideas to make your speech more interesting and comprehensible so let's have some patterns there is some there are some patterns to deliver the speech which can be arranged the content of the public speaking as well as your presentation. So the first arrangement is the chronological method. Here all the topics that you have to say, you have to deliver, all the topics are described with respect to time can be arranged in the chronology. So here the word chronology, for example, you have to say something or you have to say a whole page but that page or that script is divided into the number of topics with relevant to the time. A simple example of the chronological is your, you, we have studied in the social studies subject, SS subject we have studied. There you remember the uh, years, the years of the battles. For example, in 1999, this Pandava fought with this then the second comes that is in year 2002 this fought with this then year 2005 this party fought with this party so the year 1999 2001 2005 2007 this all are relevant with the time these topic are related with the time this method is known as chronological method presentation of ideas in the sequence of their occurrence makes it clear and easy to remember why they either they place in the decreasing order or in the ascending order or de descending order why they put in this way because it is easy to remember and it is more clear than the random placement topics dealing with the history of anything this we have discussed a country or a sports even in the sports you you may see suppose this player made 99 runs in the year 1999 then this much year in year 2001 then this much run for example 70 runs in 2005 90 runs in 2007 so the year have they placed in decreasing or 
increasing order so even in sports they follow this chronological method biographic planning of the project dealing one day after the another and instrumental guidance explaining there are many instrumental guidance which are explaining any process step by step are all the examples of the chronological method so now you have remembered what is chronological method when all the topics that you have to deliver is divided with respect to time are known as chronological method so this is the first method to set your content how you set your contents that you have to deliver yes the second method is the categorical method when there is a detailed explanation of the topic if your script needs the detailed explanation it can be broken into categories to make it easier for the speaker to remember and the listener to understand remember this categorical method is useful for both that is the speaker and listener how they how it uses speaker to remember and listener to understand all topic that are meant to give information or knowledge can be divided into sub topics mostly the theories in your textbooks use the categorical pattern this you will remember very easily because the example is our textbook whole subject for example effective technical communication the whole content it is known as whole content it is divided into number of modules even the number of module is divided into the number of topics that means first is the public speaking second is the presentation strategies third is negotiation skills so this are the number of topics so this is known as the categorical method when it is used when your top when your script is detailed explanation of any topic third arrangement is the casual method in this method the the content is mainly divided into the reason of the problem and its result or the causes and its effect here your script is divided into the problem and the result or the causes and its effect sometimes it is also followed by the solution causes and the effect or the causes and the solution usually the first reason and then the result are presented but sometimes also you have word first is the reason and then it comes the result but sometime to engage the public or to engage the audience what they do they first give the result and from that they create an question or they create a reason okay, why we have selected this solution because our question is this why they do this only to engage the public topic for this casual method we can take the example of global warming corruption effect of social media increasing number of nuclear families etc can be arranged in this method so this is the third method casual and last method is the special method there are topics where the reference can be placed you have heard there are many contents or many speeches where you have to give the reference then and then only it can be more clear to the audience you have to give some reference while de while describing about different cultural you may refer to different places like in this city it is like you you are giving such example in this city it is like this but in our city it is like this so you compare that with our city while in the village people prefer to you can take this example while in this village people refer to wear such clothes while in our village or our city people wear such type of clothes so you you give the example of or you give the reference to that city so this are the types in the special method also we can take an example moving towards the east side of the city you can say we get this place moving towards the east side of the city so you indicate that place with reference to the some point while in the west you give also this example also if you are describing a structure if you are for example taking about the civil part if you are describing some structure of a building or a machine you may move with respect to space from inside to outside or from we can say from top to bottom or left to right topics like adalajni wow the masterpiece of the well 
design of a lathe machine this all we give the example can be arranged in the special method so these are the four method or you may say four arrangement techniques of the content of your or your speech which are that again let's have the look on that name the chronological method in that the topics are divided with respect to time second is the categorical method in that the detailed explanation of the topic can be broken into categories from the name itself you get the idea categorical means it is divided into categories third is the casual method in which the problem and the solution is related or the causes and its effect the content is divided into such such divisions causes and effect problem and solution etc and last is the special method here you can give the topic or you can divide the topic with reference to some place when you uh, when you explain your speech giving an example or giving a reference to any point that is comes under the special method so now the next topic we will going to cover is the delivery of the speech now what is public speaking how you divide your content or what you have to speak that you have decided in which order you will divide it and in the next step is the now you have to deliver the speech this topic we will going to cover in the next video thank you